So what's up YouTube? Let's say you got a smart TV, you got a laptop, right? And uh, you want to put this image on both devices, or let's just say you want it on one. I'm going to show you how you do that. So when you, ever you pull your laptop up, all you can see is just the home screen and that bottom bar right there. That's all you see. You don't see nothing else. So if I go to Google on here, it won't pop nothing up on the screen. So what you're going to do is go to your settings on your laptop. As you can see, I went to my settings, still nothing on the TV. You're going to go to system. And let me zoom in a little so you can see it better. Uh, you want to click on display and scroll down. And I have me a, I believe it's a Windows laptop. Let's see. As you can see, I have it extend these displays is what I have it set as. So let's say you just want it on one device. You click on show only one. And uh, now it's not even on the TV screen. It's on the laptop. So uh, if you want to duplicate these displays, then boom. Sorry about my noisy chair, but now you have it on both screens so you can choose whichever setting you want let's say you want it on this screen and not the tv or you only want it on the tv and not the laptop or you want it on both or you can do all that from right here multiple devices and if you choose duplicate these displays though which is what i want it'll show it on both your devices it's as simple as that. I was messing around with it forever trying to get it work. I thought the cord was messed up. I didn't know what it was, but now you plug in HDMI in and you can uh, do this and it should display on both devices. And as you can see, if I go to Google or wherever now, you'll see they pop up on both devices. So hopefully this was helpful. I've seen on the internet Apparently a lot of people encountered this problem. So it's not necessarily a bad connection or HDMI, it's just a little tweaking the settings is all. It's usually a lot of the time that can be what it is. So before you jump to conclusions, mess with the settings a little bit. And on a laptop such as this, you can also uh, do it wireless actually. But uh, you would go to Bluetooth devices and Bluetooth. And you would add Bluetooth device. And uh, once you click on that, basically it'll pop up TV monitors and stuff. And you click on that and you should see your device on there. But mine, for whatever reason, don't, ain't really connecting. So not sure what that's about. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful and I will see you guys later.